Matthew McConaughey, I guess. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit. Well, this is Tech on Ice, by the way. I wanted to get into it pretty quickly because I had some ideas. I want to talk about RTO, the hottest thing going on right now. So RTO standing for return to office, uh, if you haven't been paying attention. Basically, it's a, it's this direction that a lot of companies are taking to, I, I don't want to say the word force, but highly advise their employees to get back into the office. And I want to talk a little bit about my story. So I've worked for four companies during the pandemic. So since, um, you know, beginning of 2020. Um, and you can find out who they are. I'm not going to like blast any of them specifically, but yeah, you can figure out pretty quickly like where I've worked. Um, so the first company that I worked for during the pandemic, uh, it was very much a culture of you got to be in the office. Quite frankly, I, I relocated um, because the option for remote work wasn't a, wasn't an option. Um, I was told I have to be in the office. I have to be there for meetings. And then COVID happened very quickly after that. So anyway, yay, I ended up being remote anyway. Um, second company, 100% remote company, 100% distributed. Remote work was a thing. There was offices that you can go into if you wanted to. I never actually did. Second company, our third company, I specifically asked during the interview process, uh, am I going to have to go into the office every day? And I was told no. Um, then, funny enough, six months into me working there, they started to say, you need to come into the office three days a week. I told my manager, it's not going to happen, and ended up uh, basically becoming a remote employee like in their system. So it didn't really work out. And now, I work from home. I work for a, an agency that uh, contracts at a very big tech company. So um, I can go to the office whenever I want, but it's not required. The reason why I give you this background is it, it very much is interesting to me, this idea that employees are going to be more effective in the office. I think we all remember what it was like before the pandemic. Like, you know, it was completely standard to commute 30 minutes plus to work and 30 minutes home from work, usually driving. Um, if you work, if you lived in a big city, you could take public trans transport, but that really wasn't a, you know, a thing, especially like on the West Coast. And that time is dead time, right? So you go in, let's just say you, you, you commute 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in of dead time, 30 minutes home, that's an hour of dead time a day where you, you're just driving. Maybe you'll be on a meeting, but like you're not really working. You're listening in on a meeting or maybe just blabbering while you're in traffic. And then you work, right? So I never really understood like, oh, it, like people are more productive. What it really is, and this is kind of the crux of what I want to get to in this, in this kind of rant, it's about control. Companies want to control the narrative. And if there's a belief that employees are effective working from home, working from anywhere, working on the beach, what have you, there's a lot of process in large companies that become basically unneeded. There's layers of management that aren't needed. There's checks and balances. There's corporate real estate, which companies invest heavily into, which are not necessary because Hey, do you really need an entire campus that can hold 40,000 people or more if half of them aren't even in the area anymore? Because that was a big thing during the pandemic. A lot of these companies were like, go wherever you want. Go move back home. Be closer to your family. And people did. And now we're like, oh, by the way, you have to come back or you, you can't. Yeah. And it's funny because it's not like come back or you're fired. It's come back or we'll figure it out. And the writing's on the wall very much like, if you decide to leave, that employer does not have to pay you a severance. That's big. Also, if you were hired during the pandemic, your salary, your comp is higher probably than people that are being hired right now, unless you're like in some AI space. So think about that. Company expands because of the pandemic. They need access to more people, more cap, more resources. So they offer better compensation. Also, they're making money hand over fist. We've talked about this in a previous thing. And now that things are back to quote unquote normal, wages went back down. But you have all these people that are remote working, that are making more money than they, in your opinion, should. That doesn't seem right. 
So, oh, here's a good idea. Let's make them go come back into the office. And if they leave, great, we can replace them with somebody cheaper. That's what RTO is. It's control, and it's a way to effectively get rid of people that they can't just fire because they're doing a good job or they're doing a good enough job. And they don't want to pay them severance because they're greedy. And I'll just say, if your mandate is forcing people to go back into the office and you don't have a good reason, like if you're in sales or if you're on some team that is like required, like maybe you're working on like a top secret product that, hey, we can't send this person, we can't let this person go home with this laptop because, or this phone or whatever. I get that. So you need to be in an office to, pro, for pro, to be able to work on prototypes. But if you're building software and you're on Teams meetings or Zoom meetings or Slack channels, you don't need to be in an office unless you want to. So I think everybody knows this. I, I think that RTO is a terrible decision and you're seeing a lot of companies trying to do it in an effort to instill that control, but don't let them. Don't let them. You have options. You can vote with your feet. I know that's not the best. Like, that's good for the company that you're leaving if you vote with your feet. But do not let them take send you back into the office unless you feel like you can do it. Things have changed in the last four years. So be mindful of that. This has been Tech on Ice. I hope you enjoyed this. Follow, subscribe, comment down below if you want to have a conversation about RTO. Um, I think... It's an interesting conversation, but it, for the most part, it's not a good idea. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.